Today we are going to discuss the reed trimmer for alto saxophone reeds. Reed trimmers have been around a very long time and you can find them made for various reeds, uh, including double reeds. Why should you want to have a reed trimmer or maybe not have one? The answer is because the reed that you're using might be a little bit too light, a little bit too thin, easy to blow. Maybe you're having trouble with um, high notes, especially getting those high notes in tune. So we're gonna just take a couple of Rico number two and a half reeds. I'm expecting them to be a little bit on the soft and easy side. And we're gonna see what happens after we trim them. Let's go ahead and really push the reed limits for low and high. Okay, here's a low B flat. All right, so now we're going to trim the reed and see if we notice a difference. The reed trimmer is pretty simple. It's kind of like cutting your fingernails in a weird way. Anyway, this little part of the table slides back and forth with a screw, okay, which turns. And what I'm going to do is I set the reed on that portion. So I'm on the back portion of this, this plate right here, okay? And now I have to line it up so that it's going to be right near the top, okay? I'm going to strap it down like that. Okay, now check on the underside. Let's make sure that it's even on the left and right. It's not holding so tight that I can't wiggle it back and forth. So that's what I do right now is I check to see that it looks even on the left and right sides. And now I wanna check the top here uh, to see how much I'm clipping off. So this is where we move the screw like this and we move the reed forward. And now you can see a little bit of reed coming up through. Okay, so that little bit, that little crescent that we have at the top, that's how much we are going to remove from this reed. Now when we do, the entire reed will be slightly thicker. Okay, so we just do that. That tiny little sliver, that's usually all you need to get this job done. It's just a small amount. All right. So now that we have clipped a little bit of the reed from the front, the entire reed is now slightly thicker than before. So let's try it out and see what we think. <laughs> This is a pretty big change. Um, if it was a two and a half before, now it's getting close to a three. Uh, let's call it 2.8. Overall, it's definitely more work. Okay, and let me go for the limits with the low. to start on a low B flat.
So if you've been using reeds that are too soft for you and you try the next reed firmer and it's too firm, but you wish there were something in between, that's when this is a good product to have.